Welcome to Gridbusters. Today we are starting the solar panel installation. Really exciting. First job is we need to um, install the rails on uh, the, the solar mounting rails on the roof. Uh, so there's an awful lot of rails to put up and um, we've just sort of marked out roughly where they're going to go on the roof. We, um, we just need to do a little bit more setting out now. Uh, so we're going to use a, create a plumb line um, all the way along uh, the roof uh, with a piece of string and then that will give us the uh, exactly where uh, the rail is going to go. Uh, I've also uh, just invested in a safety harness system with a retractable cable so I'll show you how that works in a minute but the first job is to get the string put onto the roof and then pull it along and then we've got our line uh, where the first solar rail is going to go. So that piece of wood uh, Jude's using is the exact length of a solar panel and we've marked out where the rails are going to go. So I am actually clipped into a harness at the moment. Um, it's a retractable line, a bit like a seat belt. If you pull it sharply, it locks. And I've got that round, uh, not a full body harness, but I've just got it round. I've got it round um, just a, a waistband. So if I fell, yes, it would be uncomfortable, but I wouldn't die. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so hopefully um, uh, that will give me a bit of extra protection. So one of the first jobs we did was we screwed uh, some screws into uh, the roof and then put up a, a string line which is known as a plumb line. This basically just ensures that uh, we keep on track, uh, make sure that the actual solar rails are going to be straight on the roof. Um, so this is just the first step which we did for every single um, solar rail which we put up. I wonder how tight that should done. It's springing back when I... Yeah, you can. You like the ones like mechanics use. Oh, like all oh, those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get one of those. That's a bigger drill. Just drill out of that. Oh, just drill it. Yeah. Right, drill it out. Oh, is that compact now? Yeah. Right. Okay. I'll um. Do you want a six mil? I'll get a six mil drill bit. You drill them first. Yeah. Yeah, I drill them without. That's not quite enough. It's going to be slightly bigger. That's a bit struggly. I need to go out and buy a different impact driver then. Has that gone on the other way? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> These are monster screws and they're proving to be really hard to, to put in, even pre-drilling a hole. Um, so, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I think if we pre-drill, we're okay. There we go, that's where the first one's going. Stick them in then. That's all right. Up. Yeah, I just need to tighten that one up. There you oh, go. Yeah. Yeah. So you see this? Yeah. Into just thinking maybe we have to slide those in from the end, huh? You take the ring. Yeah. You can do it from a 
underneath. So I can just get these on first. Uh, you, can, right. you can do it from there, but you have to a little bit up and then twist it around. Doesn't it? I'd say drop the nuts right down at the end Okay. So if that's right at the bottom actually, it's still off the roof, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, so let's just go right to the bottom. This one's level with that, that one's... Yeah, but the roof's not... not level, yeah. Maybe so the roof's level. That's true. You get them in and you can put a string line across okay. the top of them. And get it all leaving. It's going to take a long time to do that. <laughs> yeah, well, to learn how to do it. So now we've got the first solar rail in, what I'm actually going to do is I've got these really big hooks here for the safety harness, and I'm going to clip into the solar rail uh, as a temporary safety harness. Uh, and that, that way I can climb on top of the solar rails to get the next one in. So, um... There we go. And I can carry on doing that all the way up. So far we've got two, uh, two rails on. So we've got the bottom rail on and the top rail on. That's enough for um, a third of the first string. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to do it in sections, we're going to slowly build it up. Uh, we're not going to do a whole long string all at once, which, otherwise we'll have to end up moving uh, the scaffolding tower multiple times. So uh, this is going to be the first string here, and then we've got uh, another two rails for another one, and then another one at the very, very top there. So the next job now is to go up uh, another level and put uh, yet another rail in.
Right, so we're going to get the first panel installed now. Yeah, it's good, yeah. I'm gonna just do finger tight there. Right. Well, you can tighten it, you can tighten it up. Right? It's a fair point, yeah. No, it's just so much left. Um, toe in or whatever they call it. Hmm? Toe in. Bring you up a bit. Toe in. Yeah, a bit like toe in. Yeah. Drop down a bit, I don't know, sorry. sorry. No, no, you don't want to drop down. No, so did it. No. So one thing we are finding when putting the panels on, sometimes they don't quite line up. One row might be slightly higher than another row. However, you can adjust the rails. It has a, a system where you undo a nut and then do another nut up and it brings the rail up. So we're trying to get them all flush. So Jude at the moment is just trying to undo the nut underneath. And then you can do another nut up and that will bring the rail up and then you adjust the two nuts to lock it back in again but it's just a little bit fiddly uh, when you've got the panel already on the roof but uh, wanting to look good um, but uh, yeah hmm? is it playing ball just about yeah yeah, yeah. no <laughs> it was until i distracted you i'll go and get it oh my god just put this panel on and i forgot to hook up the cable between the two panels oh, oh no so I've got to take the panel off again connect the two cables together and then bolt it back on again at least it's not one of the ones at the very very top it's one of the ones at the bottom which makes it a bit easier
yeah, helps if you actually plug the solar panels in. <laughs> right. Well, well, I'm only getting 12 volts off all these paddles. <laughs> they just wouldn't work at all. Well, one would. The thing is, I, I didn't spot it. Jude, Jude is the one that spotted it, so well done, Jude. Um, right, I'm just going to put a cable tie on this. Yeah, imagine having to take them all down again. Right, that's it. Yeah, just one, but you didn't know which one it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, we are finished for the day. We got seven solar panels up. It took us quite a while to kind of get into the groove and get a system going uh, for putting the rails up and then another system going for actually mounting uh, the panels. It was a little bit fiddly to start with, but now we kind of like know what we're doing. We know how to do it. So very similar to the roof. When we when we uh, re-roofed uh, the roof, the first roofing panel we took up, uh, took up onto the scaffolding tower, it took us ages and then it took ages to screw it in. Uh, but once we'd done the first couple of roofing panels, the rest of the roof went really, really quickly and the same is now going with the solar panels. The last two solar panels we put up went up really, really quickly. Um, so we kind of like uh, got into, we've got a system basically for putting them up. So uh, yeah, so we're hoping tomorrow we'll get even more panels put in. Probably I'm, I'm hoping we'll get twice as many panels installed tomorrow. Uh, really happy with uh, the way it's going. Uh, a little bit tiring. Um, but actually, it's, it's, I think it's easier and quicker than, than doing the roof, so there is that. Uh, thank you so much for all your comments, uh, especially regarding the underground solar cable installation, the problems I had over the weekend. If you haven't seen that video, go and have a look at it. Um, I will be doing an update to that video uh, next week, actually, so keep those comments coming. Really, really helpful. And let me know your thoughts on the solar installation so far, things I should be doing. Am I, am I missing anything? Is there anything I'm not doing? Uh, we are putting little grounding strips little I didn't actually film that I'll film that tomorrow but little metal plates which are sandwiched between the uh, solar panels and the actual solar rails uh, so it pierces the anodized aluminium uh, to create a good ground so we are putting those in uh, but they are proving to be really difficult to put in because the roof is on such a, a, a steep pitch um, but tomorrow I'll show you exactly how we're putting those in but yeah so uh, keep those comments coming really inspires me to make these videos reading your comments thank you so much um, and if you would like to see updates on this solar system in other words how much electricity are we actually going to make from all of these uh, 30 plus panels which we are installing um, subscribe and then you'll receive the updates and you'll be able to see exactly how this whole system is put together and also how it performs so I'll see you in the next video which will be um, either tomorrow or the next day and hopefully by then we'll have a lot more panels installed catch you next time